everybody. Andy here with Joey from Pops Knife Supply. We got one of our fine, we're trying to fill in the corners so that we have everything you need to make a knife. So one of the final products that we're adding here, we got a countersink. Um, now that's how we chamfer the holes in our blanks before glue up, before heat treat. And then uh, so that it has a chamfered surface before glue up so that your pins sort of center themselves and help you during the glue up process. But for this, it's not something that you'd really need to clamp down. You just get the grill press going. And that one's not tightened in there good enough. I'll have to do a second. Just tighten it a little bit. Anyway, you just countersink your holes. And you flip it. Countersink the other side. We do this to every blank. And if you, uh, if you taper your tangs, you have to do this after you taper your tangs. But that'll help the pin go through your materials a lot easier during glue up. As you drill, it whips up a little ring of steel around there. Some people will sand that off and just try to get their scale or, or their blade flat. But uh, just, this makes it flat. And like Andy says, it curates a, a little ramp when you're tapping that pin through that little chamfered edge will guide your pin right in. So that's the first thing we use it for. And the yeah. second thing we use it for is on a finish knife. If I put, uh, like for example, this knife has three hollow pins. If you do the same thing, if you, if you, when you shape that, you're gonna have a squared off edge and it's gonna be real sticky. So you when know, I'm doing that, by the way, I'll take the table and put it off center a little bit. Over here. Yeah, and I just push the knife up into it. Oh, you do it by hand that way? Yeah, I just push it up That's in there. Just push it right up, that way I can feel it. And uh, it knocks that little edge off with a nice little chamfer focus on there. It leaves a nice smooth finish because it's and a then, three fluted uh, reamer. So it leaves a nice smooth finish. It's not all choppy. You have a decent drill press. This is, you know, bottom of the barrel drill press, but it still leaves a nice smooth finish on your chamfered edge with it. So I like to do that to all of the all of the tubes, lanyard tubes that I have on my knife before I'm done with it, before I get to that last, the last scallop belt. So when I'm getting my handle ready for sanding, that last scallop belt, I'll come and do the chamfering of all my tubes. And then finish And then I'll do that belt. last scallop belt. And leaves a nice finish, get all the burrs off, and then I'm ready for hand sanding. It's a tool that so, we use every day on every single yeah. knife. There's not a knife that I make that I don't go in and uh, countersink and cut that edge off. Yeah. Even on kitchen knives where I don't have a uh, lanyard tube, I still go in and on your lightning holes, your quarter inch eight, this goes down to a point where you can get it into a, uh, a pretty small hole, I think it's uh, Yeah, I mean, it's all, it, goes, it goes to all the way to a point. point so. so yeah, you could get it in a, uh, real tiny hole yeah a sixteenth all the way up to about a half inch so uh, i think i think it's a three eighths outer diameter print, but you don't want to sink it down in a hole you don't want to go to the edge it, it'll it'll helicopter the hell out of something if you if you sink it down in that size hole so uh, about half inch like joey said is about mm -hmm. the most i'd go in it uh, but anyway we're proud to have them at pops this uh i think this is the last thing before we can start making the whole knife yeah, how-to video. Yeah, we've got every with, tool we use to make a knife. Yeah, so, so this was one of the very last things. Coming at you very soon, we're excited to say. Wait a minute, we have these in two weeks. We've got to talk about the two. Oh, we've yeah. got the, uh, uh, we've got one the top feed tool steel. Uh, it is dirt. What's the price on the high? 30. It's 30, and then we've got one that's... Uh, Tim coated. Tim, Tim, Tim coated. That's the that's 42. nitride, or it's... 42. 42. Uh, so the difference is the high speed tool lasts a really long time. Uh, these things last for what, Andy? I use, I, I, that one's probably been in there for a couple of years. Yeah, so they want me yeah. doing, we're, we're, we're turning knives out of here, so mm -hmm. a lot of knives. And the coated one was probably last even longer, so. Yeah. Good and better. So the thing that we're super excited about doing soon is doing the video beginning to end with all our little tips and everything we can give you on how to make a knife beginning to end. Uh, that's coinciding with us rolling out the new YouTube channel, which we're super excited about mm -hmm. as well. You'll be able to see all of our videos in that one location. We did that last week. So go check it out, please. It's uh, Pops Knife Supplies on YouTube.